What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys my favorite Pokemon to use in competitive. We got ourselves a extra drill team for regulation each. Now, when it comes to extra drill, this Pokemon pairs up perfectly with Tyranitar. This is due to extra drill's ability, Sand Rush, doubling its speed in the Sandstorm. This extra drill is holding a clear amulet as its item. Obviously, it's a ground and steel type Pokemon with the grass terra type. Then it has Iron Head, Earthquake, High Horsepower, and Protect. Pair up with Extra obviously we have Tyranitar with Sandstream and Assault Vest, Rock Slide, Knock Off, Terra Blast, Low Kick, and that Flying Terra type. So Extra Drill can go into EQ next to it, we're just going to have to Terrasilize so we don't hit our Tyranitar. Our other four Pokemon on today's team features Dragonite, Rotom, Sinistra, and Primarina. Dragonite and Rotom can also not get hit by EQ from Extra which is really good. This is due to Rotom having Levitate and Dragonite having uh, the Flying type. But um, Rotom's gonna be used a good bit in regulation each, so I'm actually excited to use this Pokemon. It's got Overheat, Thunderbolt, Will-O-Wisp, and Protect. Really can't go wrong with it. Dragonite's gonna be a big time physical attacker, Primarina's gonna be a big time special attacker, and Sinistra obviously here to support our Pokemon and heal them up. If you guys wanna rent the team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing Excadrill. Moving on to our first match, and we're going up against a pretty strong team. This team actually seems like it was a team using, like, Regulation B, like the second format in Scarlet Violet once they released Paradox Pokemon. But they got Incineroar, they got, uh, what is that, Torkoal, Fluttermane, Provigoraph, Iron Hands, and last but not least, Amoonga. So Incineroar could be annoying. Definitely could be annoying. Same thing with Torkoal. I mean, they gotta bring Torkoal here. But I think we just go, like, Extra Drill into, like, T-Tar. I feel like that could be good, because I doubt they lead Torkoal, right? I doubt they lead Torkoal, and I feel like we can get the weather set up, we can just swap T-Tar right away if we want to, and really just start getting after it that way. So, those are going to be my two lead. Um, in the back end, Prima Arena's not bad here. Prima Arena is not bad at all. Could bring Rotom here as well, and I am going to bring Rotom, especially with those safety goggles, can dodge Rage Powder, Spores, all that nonsense, so... I like Rotom here, plus it thrives out in the sun, so we can get off damage if they do end up winning the Weather War. But um, last but not least, do we go Choice Band Dragonite or Primarina? Looking at this team, Primarina is looking actually pretty solid. Got Haze, got all that good stuff. We're going to go Primarina. Throat Spray as well. Again, we just have to win the Weather War or Primarina will thrive out here if we do. If it's sitting in the sun, it's going to be a little bit tougher because then Hyper Voice, well, Water Hyper Voice won't really do too much damage as the sun negates it by i think like 50 percent yeah it's 50 percent so it'll half it won't be too good for us so we need to win this weather war more importantly plus my extra can really just start steamrolling in the sandstorm but as long as they don't need torkoal we should be fine here it is going to be for rigoraf and Cinnawar. so they are going to get it intimidated off um i could sit here and protect i'm going to hard swap out here i mean they could be going for trick room here as well I think we just send an EQ. We definitely want to swap T-Tar, and I think we're just going to swap it into into Rotom here. And then from here, I mean, Terra Grass is going to be good, but I don't mind just dropping an EQ here and hoping that they don't fake out the extra drill. We should have protected. They're going to fake out the extra drill. They're going to fake out the extra drill, but we're hoping. We are hoping that this is flying into the T-Tar slot, well, which will now be the Rotom Heat slot. So if it is, yo, EQ is going to be launching here. We're gonna have a good old time with EQ. The real time's gonna come out here. And he's gonna go for fake out into that slot. We love that. We love that so much. And EQ is flying. We're hitting Incineroar for super effective damage. We're gonna do some nice chunk damage to Rigograph. And we almost KO Incineroar. We almost do. That would've been nice. So Sister's Berry flies. If I had to guess, Rigograph probably pop into Trick Room. And yeah, there's Trick Room. So I know they wanna get out Torkoal. Um, and what do I want to do here? I feel like a Flare Blitz could launch into my Extra Drill slot. It really could. So I'm going to do that and just protect Extra Drill. Really don't need a Flare Blitz launching in this slot. I mean, I'd rather keep Frigograph on the field for as long as I can because Frigograph, it's still doing decent damage, but I really don't want him getting out Torkoal and having a bunch of turns with Torkoal. So Frigograph ends up protecting this a fine turn for me, especially if you are going for uh if you are going for Flare Blitz and Extra Drill. This could be really good for us. Yep, there it is. Flare Blitz into Extra Drill. Really good call for us. And now we just get rid of Incineroar. Right, Thunderbolt should KO you all day. 
Thank you, Rotom. Good call for us to protect the extra drill. And good for us that they didn't protect, or they did protect Rigraph. The Sandstorm buff, it's going to go around again into Rotom and trigger the Citrus Berry onto Rigraph. You lucky biscuit. Wow, you guys both have a berry? Did Incineroar have Citrus Berry? I kind of hope it didn't because that would be illegal. And I'm a rules junkie. No, I'm just kidding. I care less, but I'm kind of curious. Did that thing have a Figgy Berry or a different berry? We end up going into Torkoal. That's a good turn for us to swap into Titar. And maybe just overheat Rip into something. I could just protect you and save a turn. I'm just going to Titar here. Yeah, because Extra's at full HP. We'd like that. So we'll swap into Titar. We'll get the weather back in our favor. And we'll go from there. Maybe I should have Thunderbolted down the uh, Torkoal a little bit here. Because Eruption not looking too good for us. I don't like that one bit. But I mean, I can protect Titar next turn. Let's see. Because he definitely wants to go for like Eruption. The Grass Terror is not looking good for us. But we, we're, we're slowly wasting out some turns. We got some really good Pokemon right now. So out comes the Terror. This is looking scary. This is going to do some damage on my Rotom. Or not my Rotom, my Titar. Fire Territorical. Yeah, I probably should attack this turn. Let's see how this one plays out here. Let's see how this one plays out here. Again, we just need to waste out these trickling turns. There's Protect for us. There goes Eruption. I mean, it's going to be not very effective into our Titar. So I'm hoping he can soak with at least half, but I don't think so, man. Fire Terror Eruption, big time damage. I totally forgot you get that special defense boost. You get that special defense boost in the sandstorm. That worked out so well for us. <laughs> it did like negative five damage. Get on out of here, Torkoal. Get on out of here, Tor Torkoal. Get him on out of here. I think that's Chudku. Oh, or Kudchu. You little biscuit. It's sick. I can't believe you don't see that as often. But from here, I'm just going to launch a Thunderbolt into you. I really don't want you chilling around here a bit longer. And we're just going to go for a Rock Slide across the board. So we have really good Pokemon out here wasting these trickering turns. I feel like instead of protecting, now's a great turn for us to, to attack. And let's just get after this one. We're thriving right now. I, I don't think that our opponent expected that uh that eruption to do so little damage. Now he's sitting here like, yo, what do I do? <laughs> like they have no idea. We still have Terra, which is good news. Um, they might swap Torkoal, but I doubt it, right? I doubt it. Yeah, no, they don't swap Torkoal. And they're just going to protect the Friggies. He's going to clear Smog up. Yeah, that's doing nothing. That's doing nothing. They realize his eruption really not really not doing too much, so he went for the clear Smog instead. Rockslide's going to connect in Torkoal and do a beautiful chunk of damage. Thunderbolt's going to get blocked. Now we're sitting really well. Really, really well. And I should say Trick Room's gone now, correct? Or is it one more turn? Might be one more turn. It is one more turn. So one more turn left in the Trick Room. No big deal. And I can just double down the Frigger Ramp here. With Rock Slide and Thunderbolt. I could have went for Overheat, but things are looking real good for us. I wouldn't be surprised if they cancel here. Realize their backs are up against the wall. They don't have much going. And they end up protecting Torkoal in the Trick Room. That's a big mistake. You want to use Torkoal too. It's fullest in the Trick Room. Psychic launches. Actually does a good chunk of damage. And Rock Slide is going to get blocked. So, as long as we KO this for Graph, they can't change the weather, and we pretty much just win this game. And actually, we're not going to KO the for Graph, but we do enough damage where it can't reset up another Trick Room, which is good news for us. Which is beautiful news for us. We got both these Pokemon low HP. I could just Rock Slide and swap into Exodrill, which is exactly what I'm going to do, because if Rock Slide lands, fingers crossed if Rock Slide lands... <laughs> Uh, we pick up the double KO, and then I have my extra out here for the Sandstorm, which is good. But yeah, perfect execution from us. They honestly protected too much in the Trick Room. But everything worked out perfectly. We out the Trick Room turns. We still have all four of our Pokemon. We swapped them weather at the perfect time. We won the Weather War. And then once that Eruption hit our T-Tar, that just took the soul out of our opponent. The soul out of him. But he ends up going for a double protect. We end up landing our double Rock Slide. We say Night Night to both Torkoal and Rigor Wrath. We bring out extra drill, and now extra drill's chilling in the sandstorm, ready to beat up on the final Pokemon. But again, they, they gotta cancel the match, man. 
Have mercy on your Pokemon. They're getting absolutely beat to shreds out here. <laughs> Poor Pokemon. Poor Pokemon, and it's a Moongus. Actually, I would love to beat this Pokemon to shreds right now. Hey, Amoongus. Hey, Amoongus. We're gonna go for EQ. Actually, I don't feel like seeing the Terra animation. Let's be honest here. We'll go for high horsepower, and on top of that, we will go for a knockoff. And they finally cancel match. So we're sitting 1-0. Great start to today's video. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Look what we got out on our hands. We're going up against a Sandstorm team. So we got Garchomp Sand Team versus Extra Drill Sand Team. They also have Lycanroc and an Intimidate user. Ooh. We don't like Intimidate. We really don't. And honestly, I'm going to predict them to lead the Intimidate user. I'm, oh, I really don't want to bring Rotom here. I really don't want to bring Rotom here. I mean, you got Electric Terror, which is decent, but oh, wait a minute. You got Willow We were so coming in here. I don't like it's typing up against like these rock and rock Pokemon. <laughs> these rock and rock Pokemon, but yeah, that's what they have. Um, but I love Will O Wisp here, so maybe we might Terrasilize him, Will O Wisp, throw some burns around. That could be massive for us, so I'm all about Rotom here for a lead. So I'm going to lead Rotom. Um, I could lead Extral. It has to clear Amulet, which is pretty good. Yeah, and then bring T Tar and last but not least, Prima Arena. Yeah, Prima Arena over Dragonade all day. Prima Arena over Dragonite all day. This should be a good match here. This should be a really good match. Kind of similar teams. We both have that Sandstorm synergy here. Like, that's the centerpiece of this team. But I have to watch out for Intimidate. I wish I had the Intimidate Pokemon, but I have Will O Wisp. Again, Will O Wisp could really clutch up here. Throwing out some burns on physical attackers, especially if they lead like Garchomp or something. But no, they're going to go T Tar Lake and Rock. Which, I mean, kind of makes me have to. I mean, I can freely go into EQ, which is awesome for me. Really good for me. And I'm going to throw a Will-O-Wisp into T-Tar here. And then just throw an EQ across the board. Yeah, it's definitely the best play. We don't need a Terrasilize, slice do we? Actually, let's Terrasilize slice Rotom. I'm not dealing with a... With a Rock move coming in here and just deleting him. So I'll go EQ. I will Terrasilize slice my Rotom. And... We will launch this Will-O-Wisp. There is a slight chance that this, uh... At this, T-Tar does go for, like, a Flying Terror, because that is its favorite Terror type. I feel like if you don't have Flying Terror on your Tarantar, you just lose the matches. <laughs> like, it's just not good. But we're going to try to slice our Extra Joel right here. Or not our Extra Joel, our Rotom. We're going to get some burns on the field. I am scared of, obviously, that uh, Lycanroc. I'm hoping my Extra can outspeed it, but I doubt it. Lycanroc's really fast. And he's going to drop a close combat, so we're just dead to that, aren't we? That hurts soul. He's going to drop his defenses. Oh, man. We need some burns across the board. We just lost our extra like that. Like that. It really hurts. But Lewis is connecting, which is massive. I'm probably going to see a rock slide come out onto the field. All right. So this time I'm going to have to play this one. Extra dying out that easily. But I was scared of liking rock because of what's it called. Because a lot of them do rock the focus ash and then you use the move endeavor. And it works really well. But now from here, I mean, we could just go into T-Tar. Actually, I really don't want to go into T-Tar. I'd rather go into you and then just, like, protect. And throw a burn on the Lycanroc. Yeah, I'm just going to start throwing burns around. Protect my Primarina here. Protect Primarina. We're going to be we're gonna be throwing burns left and right today. Or this match. Kind of have to after that poor... Performance for my extra drill. I mean, I kind of forgot that a lot of Lycan Rocks do run close combat. I haven't seen Lycan Rock in a while, but I know they run like Rock Slide, Endeavor. I don't think they really Rock Protect, but then close combat if you think about it. And like one other move. I think it has like a first turn priority move. I forget what's called. A Cell Rock? Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Let's see what they end up doing here because we're just protecting Pre Marina. I'm hoping they don't attack my Rotom. Hoping they double down a pre marina slot. We're gonna see a terror type pop out here. From who? Who you got? T Tar going into flying. Grass. Why you have grass? Again, I, I always say, like, you, I just said you need flying. This thing's grassing it up. I mean, I have overheat to launch into that, which is really good for us. And we end up just protecting the pre marina. So pre marina gets a little bit of protect here. Close combat is gonna launch in this slot. And we're able to soak, which is beautiful news. Defense is dropping. And Willowis is connecting. That's huge. That's huge. Now, T-Tar, what are you going for? Can you attack my Pre-Marina, please? 
Don't you dare double do my Rotom. Terrible, that's right, cool. So we end up blocking. Um, the question here is... Yeah, close combat's gonna KO me. Even through the burn. Hmm, because I really just want to overheat here. I mean... I think we just protect Rotom. And we go for a Hyper Voice when we KO the Lycanroc. I think Primarina should be faster than T-Tar. This is tough because Terra Blast goes off of whichever's higher. Or whichever does more damage, special attacking or physical attacking. So I think Terra Blast might KO my Primarina. We're just going to protect the Rotom. And look to get rid of the Lycanroc and then drop an Overheat. I can rock goes for Rock Slide. Dodge it, Primarina. Dodge it. Dodge it. We probably could have soaked up a Rock Slide. Kinda sucks. And you're gonna go for an alcohol. That's fine. That's fine. You take off my third spray, but we get rid of Lycan Rock, which is massive. Lycan Rock, gone. See you later. Get it on out my face. So we get rid of Lycan Rock. Um, I think I might have to just overheat and dump on the C Tart this turn. Depending on who they bring out here. Could be Garchomp. It could be Chompy, but at the same time, I mean, I can Moonblast that Chomp down. Mmm, Chomp is scary, man. Chomp would be scary. But I need Road Time to go overheat. I should have went overheat that turn. It's gonna be Golden Go. Road Time, can you outspeed Golden Go? Mmm. a tough match for us. We still have our T-Tar. But we all have Terra. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to overheat this thing if I can. I mean, you're burned, though. You are burned, though. You know what? We're gonna overheat Golden Go. And I'm gonna just protect you. He ends up withdrawing Golden Go. Who's soaking this overheat? Is it Chomp? Give me Gyarados. Man, that sucks. Thunderbolt would've just wiped it. Thunderbolt would have just wiped it. The attacks drop. Protect comes out from Primarina. Hopefully he's attacking Primarina. And overheat launches. How much damage are we doing? Negative five. Beautiful. Beautiful. Negative five. And he goes for a rock slide. I mean, you shouldn't be able to soak this Rotom. Hopefully they miss. Nope, never. Rotom soaks with a crit. Oh man, that's ugly. That's real ugly. So special attacks lowered. I think we just had to drop a Thunderbolt into into Gyarados here. It's burned slowly chipping up this C Tar alongside with uh the what's it called damage. Alongside of burn damage, just slowly chipping it up. But losing our extra drill turn one is just oh man. Really did us dirty. We probably would be sitting in a way better position than this. But Rotom's outspeeding the Gyarados. Even though we're minus two, this should still KO, right? Yeah, it's four times super effective. Get on out of here, Gyarados. So Gyarados gets stumped on. Primarina should outspeed the C-Tar. Actually, it doesn't. And finally, the Terra Blast comes out here. And I think we say bye-bye to Pre. Yeah, we say bye-bye to Pre. Which is okay. I would have loved to get off that Moon Blast. And the Sandstorm is gone. So burn damage is still chipping up T-Tar. Golden Go is is what's looking scary. We have Vest, and I'm resetting the Sandstorm, which is really good for us. The Golden Go is going to fly out here. Oh, man. This is going to be so... <laughs> this is going to be such a close battle. I feel like this match is going to be so close. Uh, I'm just going to protect Rotom here. Actually, is Rotom going to outspeed that Golden Go? I'm curious. Oh, I don't know. That's close. I'm still just going to protect this turn. He's going to go for Make It Rain, though. I don't think the Protect really matters. I think we should just attack. We're going to go for Overheat in this slot, and we're going to double down to Gold to go. Overheat does outspeed. That's a great call. It's a good call for me to attack here. Overheat doing half damage. Heatar, you don't outspeed. No shot, right? Nope. And here comes Make It Rain. And I soak... Eh? Okay, can I can I outspeed the other Titar? That's the real question. We have to outspeed the other Titar. 
and soak up whatever this T-Tar has to offer, which is probably a terrible S tier. I mean, you're burned, we're bested, we're in Sandstorm. Their T-Tar outspeeds me. We go for Rock Slide. Oh man, that did a bit too much damage. And I flinched. And I flinched. You're not even going to give me the chance. You're not even going to give me the chance here. You're not even going to give me the chance. Because Knockoff would have KO'd the, uh, the Golden Go, and then it would have been a 1v1, and you're not even going to give me the chance. You're not even going to give me the chance. That really hurts. A flinch. I wanted the chance. That's all I wanted. But a close match. We're just going to run this one now. Golden Ghost got us on the ropes. We don't have Terra. Solid match. But losing our extra turn one really lost it for us. Third and final match on its way. We're going up against Pachirisu. Alongside with Garchomp, Farigaraf, Talonflame, Gyarados, and Gardevoir. So this looks like, what is it? 2014 World Champ Team Remake? But they're swapping out Farigaraf for somebody. Right? I remember Sage and Park won that World Championship with Pachirisu. And, yeah, it had all these Pokemon besides, obviously, for Griff because it wasn't in the game yet. So, it's a little, it's a little switch up from that. But, they have Garchomp here. We could lead our straight weather, which wouldn't be bad. I mean, I think I like that a lot. I think it does a lot of damage up against a lot of their Pokemon. So, I think going into these two are perfect for us. Um, in the back end, we could go Primarina. I mean, Primarina going to be super effective onto that uh, Garchomp and onto the Talonflame. Plus, it could do respectable damage to everybody else. So I could go Primarina here alongside with like Choice Band Dragonite. E-Speak we clutch, man. You, you can't go wrong with E-Speak. We're doing it. We are so doing it. Plus, I really don't want to go into like an electric Pokemon, especially with like Voltage or Follow Me Patrick on the field. It's just really not worth it. So I'd rather just go into my extra, my T-Tar, maybe just go Flying Terror, start throwing EQs left and right. But that last match, that came down to the wire. I really wish we didn't flinch. Like, I don't mind losing. But I'd rather lose without that flinch, right? I'd rather see if we could have won the match or just see how it would have played out. But of course, flinch had to do me dirty. But they go Gardevoir alongside with Garchomp. Chance for him to kick up. That's probably Sandveil rather than Rough Skin, right? I think I am going to Thrasilize Flying here. And I am just going to rip a Rock Slide alongside with an EQ. I mean, I could go into Iron Head and just dump into Gardevoir. But the whole problem with that is... Um, one, I'd rather double down with EQ, and two, Gardevoir's not that bulky of a Pokemon, so EQ, the combination of EQ and Rock Slide should KO. So I'm all about it. Let's run it. Let's run it. We'll see a Terra type pop out from Gardevoir probably right here, right? No, Chomsky getting after it. Ground Terra? Ground Terra. So Chomsky's looking to get after it with his own EQs because that's probably telepathy on the, uh, on the, what's it called? That's probably telepathy on the Gardevoir. So, chances are my extra is going to die out here, but it is going to be able to get off an EQ beforehand. So, I can get down for that. Because I think we're going to go EQ for EQ. We're going to dodge one. And we should be able to do some nice damage on the other side here. So there's, there goes our EQ. Beautiful, lovely. That not affecting my T-Tar. And does great damage. Daz and Leave going to launch here. Extra able to soak. T-Tar, no problem. And there goes his EQ. So, like I said, my Excadrill, dead. But if we can land double rock slide, this might be a good trade for us. This might be a real good trade for us. This might be a really good trade for us. Go ahead, T-Tar. Land your double rock slide. Need you now. Let's go. That's big time. Is that it? Yep, there's one KO. And then we half HP that. Okay, so that's really good for us. That is really good for us. Now, the real question is, can Choice Band... And my choice band boy pick up KO. With these speed. That's the real question. We don't have normal Terra. Or should I just go into Primarina? I should just protect Primarina here. Yeah, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Let's go into Primarina here. And they're going to end up going into Pachirisu. So follow me. could easily fly here. I see you. I understand. Let's just go for Rock Slide here. Hmm, actually, I don't know. I think I'd rather go for Rock Slide here. Hey, you know what? There's a chance that you might... That you might go into, like, an electric move rather than a follow me. Oh, you protect the chomp, man. You protect the chomp. I protect the Primarina. I think you're going after Primarina. 
E, why are you going for a nuzzle? Chill on me. Stop trying to go for nuzzles. Nuzzle buzzling me. Knock off when you get blocked. And I think we're just going to do the same thing. Besides, but instead of protecting, we're just going to go hyper voice. A nice little hyper voice alongside of a, uh, a knock off. And we'll double down to chomp at this point. All right. Not bad. Not a bad turn. So we we'll go for knockoff, put it into chomp slot, and we will go for hyper voice across the board, just in case follow me comes out here. And he's going for rock slide. Don't you dare flinch me. Don't you dare flinch me. Don't you dare. I know Primarina's not attacking. I'm going to be so upset. Flinch or paralyzed chance. That's that's a lot on top of it. That's a lot going on here. Knockoff going to launch. Is this KO? It does. That's that's really what we want to do. And this thing is rough skin. The nuzzle buzzle and rocky helmet. Chill. That's not cool. That's not cool. Primarina, land an attack. Land an attack here. Land a nice little throat spray hyper voice. It does. Awesome. Oh, and great damage. Of course, your citrus berry, but still, I like the damage there. I really do like the damage there. Alright. So we're sitting here. Buffets might KO me here, right, Titar? You're low now. You are super low on HP. You get one more turn out of you? Oh, yeah. I thought you were at 11. All right, cool. Now you're at 11. The Primarian takes damage. Sitting at about half. Um, and they throw out their final Pokemon. We still have Dragonite, which is going to be for us. It's going to be Talon playing. Oh, that's not looking good for us. I can get off a of Rock Slide. That'd be nice. But Patrick is going to nuzzle me to death. And I will go for Hyper Voice. But chances are you go for Brave Bird and just pick up a KO on me. All right, this is it. This is it. But if you do go for Brave Bird, my dragon, I could choice into that E speed and maybe win us the game, which would be awesome. So follow me ends up coming out here. That's actually bigger for us because Town Flame has no double hitting moves. And there's the Brave Bird. Brave Bird. That's fine by me. I thought you were going to nuzzle KO the, the T Tara and then Brave Bird and KO the Primarina. But instead, you're going to take some recoil damage. And my rock slide launches, it double connects. Bye bye, Talon Flame. And we win this game. Awesome. So we'll, we'll grab a 2 1 winning record today. Extra Joel being amazing, especially in this third and final match. I knew it was going to die out. But I love the trade of getting rid of Gardevoir and do a big time damage into uh, into Garchomp. So that worked out perfectly for us because we, could, we couldn't have. Like, if we would have just lost our extra, we would have lost this game. But that trade right there, that big time damage on the Gardevoir and big time damage on the Garchomp, just worked out so perfectly for us. But well, we throw out our final Pokemon, going to be Dragonite. We win this match all day. We're just going to go into e speed, and they probably cancel, right? They got to cancel. Unless they just want to go for nuzzles and hope for paralyze after paralyze after paralyze. But e speed out speeds anyway. And that's the game. 2 1 for today's video. Excadrill and Titar are back, baby. Regulation H going to be so much fun with these Pokemon back in the meta. Excadrill just so fast, so strong within the Sandstorm. And Titar, just a solid Pokemon all around. I feel like whenever this Pokemon is in the meta, it is just awesome. Like It's just great because Titar is just an elite Pokemon. It's an elite option. And now it's going to be back in the meta in Regulation H. I just feel like it's going to be a ton of fun to use this Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.